This is Liam and Dede. We're on our way to the art fair in search of compassion and how it's conveyed and interpreted and understood uh, by people in that environment. Liam, say, here we go. Here we go. What do you think of when uh, you think of the term compassion? Who are you asking? Any one of you guys. Just showing love to another person, going out of your way to show them, like, a I think about the ability to empathize, I guess. Empathize or sympathize. Any other comments? I think compassion is one of the most important things there is. Yeah, I think. Where do you see, where do you see it in our... Uh, our priorities as a, as a culture. Do you feel like it is uh, an important value in America? No. <laughs> compassion? Yeah. I think it's undervalued. You said compassion? Yeah. Or maybe you can tie that in. Compassion, <laughs> compassion for other people, and going yeah. out of your way to help other people without right. really expecting anything in return. I think in in my schooling, my college career. Yeah. Uh, I certainly have been, uh, I would say, encouraged yeah. to work in ways that would help people yeah. and that were not just necessarily selfish ambitions, just for my own good, so I think more uh, globally. Putting oneself in the other person's shoes and feeling their difficulties, their pain, their sorrow, and then accepting them because they are like me with my pain and my sorrow. Helping each other progress out of limitation. Um, Selfishness, yeah. self-centeredness, individualism, what's in it for me. <laughs> and in my work, I was a psychotherapist. In the, the contextual therapy was, <clears throat> was an sitting there opening my heart. Yeah. That was the first thing so that we were together. So that it was a way of them not being alone for that time. Yeah. I'm thinking about my practice even more. I hadn't given it this thought, mm -hmm. but I honestly think compassion or at least the Rogerian presence of just being there to accept the other person was probably my primary therapeutic tool. Um, I'm quite certain it was. My medical knowledge ranged from poor to excellent, depending on what area we're talking about. But the compassion and the acceptance was almost always there. There were some hurdles, but almost always there. And that's what helped, that helped, helped me get patients through things. Within specific groups, mm -hmm. as long as you're talking about compassion within a group which is already defined as like you, yeah. then then there there is um, a reasonable amount of reaching out and helping one another and caring. But the ability to pray for someone who is not like you or has different experiences or comes from a different background, 
I think as a society we have a long way to go. Yeah. When you talk about politics mm -hmm. and compassion just about disappears. Just mm -hmm. gone. Mm -hmm. To have child care, you know, good education. And that's we're losing we're losing on that. And we had it. But we've we just become so selfish. So well, we've squandered it. We have squandered it on, yeah. on war yeah. instead of yeah. peace, right? And uh, not really focusing on what people need, but on uh, it's it's uh, a very skewed time right now, a very disheartening time when it comes to compassion. He picked up your cannonballs. So the Home of New Vision um, Engagement Center in Ypsilanti was started uh, for a number of reasons. Um, they, um, about five years ago, there were some committees, there was a 10-year plan to end homelessness in the county, and one of the committees was addressing some of the needs in the, in the community. Um, and so some of the forces at work were that people were dying out in the streets because they were camping during the winter, they'd get drunk, you know, and unfortunately we had a number of deaths over, um, over the years. And um, also uh, during the winter, people would end up at the emergency rooms, either St. Joe's or U of M. And on any given night, especially during the winter, there would be five or six people at each hospital there just to come off of alcohol. Um, the doctors were frustrated because they could only sober them up and send them out. And it was really a social problem that the hospital wasn't capable of dealing with. So um, one of the committees on the 10-year plan to end homelessness basically came up with this idea for a sobering facility where people could welcoming environment where they're not judged if they've been out on the street for years or um, even if they're not homeless. Um, people can come here and sort of sober up and then our whole purpose is to engage them in services in the community if that's what they want and if they're ready to do that. So. So that's our whole goal, is to engage people in services, and we do that with a very compassionate and understanding nature about the disease of addiction and alcoholism, which is, you know, it's a very deadly disease, it's hard to treat, and um, we understand that people will often recycle in here, um, not quite ready to, to do something, so. Mm -hmm. It's a place that they can come where people do care about them and that we can are keeping clients safe while they're here so people come here coming off of all kinds of drugs and alcohol and um, that can be a dangerous situation so we work very closely with both hospitals where we get referrals from we also get referrals from all over the community we have police drop off people here um, if they go to a, a scene and they have somebody that's drunk and they need some place to put them instead of taking them to jail or dropping them at, at the hospital, they'll bring them here. Um, we get referrals from Delana Center, from treatment centers, from transitional housing programs. So we have a wide, a wide array of uh, mm -hmm. referral sources. So we preach that um, you know warm, welcoming, engaging, mm -hmm. compassionate approach here. and. Um, 
the staff here does an excellent job of engaging clients and making clients feel like they're cared about and because they truly are we do care about them um, and I think without compassion we, we couldn't do this work so. um, I think you know as a community we have to care I mean I think that when you get people Take people who are using alcohol and drugs and you get them sober, they're productive, there's less crime in the community, there's more harmony in the community, and so I think mm -hmm. that it's very important that people take the time to care about something. It doesn't have to be this, but they mm -hmm. should be, find some compassion for something. On the turning away From the pale and downtrodden And the words they say which we won't understand Don't accept that what's happening Is just a case of all the suffering Or you'll find that you're joining in the turning It's a sin that somehow light is changing.